Um, there are 17 countries in what's called the Eurozone, which share a common currency, the Euro, and have a single central bank, the European Central Bank. And in that respect, the Eurozone is similar to the United States, which the 50 states of the United States share a single currency, the dollar, and a single central bank, the Federal Reserve. But there's an important way in which the two situations are quite different. In the United States, we have a federal government which oversees the uh, budgetary and fiscal decisions for the country as a whole. So if one state has trouble uh, and, and it can't uh, you know, make its, make its uh, uh, taxes and, and uh, expenditures match, the federal government is still there to pay Social Security payments and Medicare payments and to transfer money as needed uh, to help uh, states and individuals who are in trouble. In Europe, by contrast, you've got 17 different countries without a single government, without a single central fiscal authority. And so it's much more difficult then to move money between countries because it requires essentially the cooperation and coordination of 17 different parliaments or congresses, so to speak. Most historians, and I include myself there, believe that the gold standard played a very important role in making the Great Depression as bad as it was of the 1930s, both because it um, transmitted monetary shocks from one country to another because they were all connected on the gold standard, and also because given the constraints of the gold standard, uh, central banks, which did exist, uh, including the Fed, uh, were restricted or, or thought they were restricted from doing what was needed to stabilize the banking system. So, you know, I, I'm the first to admit that uh, they're, they're, you know, the Federal Reserve is not perfect. Uh, people can make mistakes. Uh, institutions can be improved. Um, but at this point, if you just look around the world, you see no alternative. There is no country uh, that has anything other than an independent central bank or some kind of central bank managing its monetary policy.